Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually start, um, let's say, uh, compiling or merging a lot of your CSS. So we're just reusing it for our HTML. So here we have four boxes that are very similar to each other. Let's go check our page. So they're very similar. The only thing is that one has some margin and box border and then the color, it's basically the only thing that's changing between them. So right now we are creating a box one, box two, box three, box four. But because we wanna start creating our code in a quicker and better way, we can actually just uh, do a comma between some of them. So for the things that are going to be reused, like in our case with height, uh, possibly padding, box sizing and other things. So I'm gonna show you how we can actually start collect or merging things. Um, so it, 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 there's less CSS to write for us. So we're gonna do a box one, like we had, and we're going to do a comma for separating, and then we're going to do hashtag box underscore two, comma, hashtag box underscore three, hashtag box underscore four. So now we're trying to put together a lot of our CSS. So in here, I can just take my width and height, post it up here, and tidy it up. I can actually also copy my padding and my box border, so it looks cool. And then I'm going to just delete my height in my box two. In box three, I'm gonna delete my height and so on and so on. And I can actually also delete my margins and margins, margins. And I'm gonna copy this to up here. So as you can see, the only thing I have down here is the change of the background color. If I click save and I go to my browser again, there's going to be a change with the text. So all of these three will have the text as it is in the red one instead. So now we're just reusing CSS uh, instead of in this block. This is about the inherence of the code. So box one, two, three, four, all gets the same height with padding, box sizing, and box, uh, margin bottom. And then we're just using these four down here to only change the background colors or something specific. So this is a way of actually gathering your code so it this less code uh, and we're just creating the changes down here. So having this in mind that setting something up that works for many things and then creating the changes later for it. And if I, for example, just wanted to change the size of this, uh, it's, not suppo it's supposed to be a square one. So I'm gonna hit save. I just added the height, uh, changed the height from 50 to 100, save, go to browser, and now you can see all four actually does it. Instead of me having to go to, oh, there's one here, and there's one here, and one here, and one here. So if you have many boxes, this will, or many items, uh, CSS items, this will help you work faster and better.